uh, places chat about Linux Lite and I thought let us take a look at it ourselves so this of course is the Linux Lite website uh, really talking about some donations so straight out of the box and uh, as you can see uh, it is a distribution from New Zealand if we were to go look at its features um, it's talking about the different tooling it's got and a couple of uh, videos here and uh, the distribution status um, all their services are online and if I remember correctly I believe this distribution is based on Debian so if we were to just look at the Vipa mirrors here, it should tell us pretty quickly. Yeah, so looks like they've got some of their own repos going on as well. So, office, status, develop, bounty source, shop. Okay, you can get stuff from the shop pretty quickly if you want. Uh, support bugs, documentation, hardware DB, AI support. Okay, they have a AI chatbot. That's quite interesting. But you know what? Let's take a look at this OS. So I'm going to do a new Linux Lite. Uh, Debian. 6 gigs. 8 cores. 100 gig hard drive. Uh, Linux Lite. Okay, light. Uh, welcome to Linux Lite. It has all these steps here that we can do on the left hand side. Okay, so I'm going to do the store now. Okay. Uh, this is the Ubuntu installer. Yeah, definitely. This is Ubuntu based. Uh, yeah, you didn't even tell us it's Ubuntu drivers. Erase a disk, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, I'll we'll just wait for it to install. And this one specifically looks like it's based on Ubuntu 2204. Okay, let's log in. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to actually do here is just fix the Resolution, so I'll go to control panel, go to display. Okay, and we can install updates. Uh, I recommend you first complete uh, the steps. So, uh, install updates, all right. Update now. And it's not going to take a while. Okay, so we could click here. Still drive and still in the meantime, I'm going to choose a dark theme for the system. Okay, also out of the box, you can upgrade to a different version. You can install light software as well. So to install the most popular stuff. So if I was to hit light software, uh, we don't want to update software sources now. So we could do install software. Then what we would do is select whatever item is here and then just say install, which is pretty cool to do that out of the box, I must admit. Really nice way of doing it. Uh, okay, so it's updated. I'm going to continue using the system because I don't want to reboot it right now. So let's say I want to uh, install apps. So here it even tells you Firefox will install with a, with a snap. So I don't want to do that. Thank you very much. So let's say I want to install a different player. So we'll use Clementine and I'll say install. Yes. Okay. Quit. Okay. So let's take a look here. Uh, system. Uh, firewall utility. Uh, it looks like firewall D might be disabled. It's taking this long trying to connect to it. Oh, I'm just going to quit that. Terminal emulator, system restore, system monitor. So this is quite a nice app, this one. 
So as you can see here, we're using very little CPU usage, average of 1%. Uh, RAM, we're using almost a gig of RAM. Uh, disk space, really, it's used 12 gigs. Uh, not too much going on with the network or GPU, etc. So let's close that. Uh, package manager is just a synaptic. Talking about that though, let's look at the repos. Okay, so canonical, other software, updates, authentication, additional drivers, developer options, okay, and preferences. And it has 73,000 packages available. Okay. Office, it uses LibreOffice out of the box, as you can see here. Uh, they've, so we just click on whatever, write document. And just uh, latest version. Uh, internet, get support online for Linux Lite. Uh, default browser is Google Chrome, which is an interesting choice of a browser by default. Okay. And of course you can get help via the Linux Lite forum. Uh, manage network connections. Mail client is Thunderbird. Uh, the normal network connection manager. That must distress use. Uh, graphics. GIMP. Uh, accessories. Screenshots, backup, settings, uh, high DPI configuration, okay. It's nice to see an app to do that out of the box. Appearance, material, icons, papyrus adapter, etc. And then the control panel here so you can control the sounds. So it's got a couple of additional settings here. Uh, this. And these are the Linux Lite repos, uh, Lite Info, Lite Tweaks. Okay, so this is where you can go and change a couple of settings. So, um, in this case, this distro, if anything, gives you a couple of additional options over Ubuntu, more on their configuration side than anything else. So uh, here, for example, you can get a list of different kernels uh, to use. So you can use a custom kernel or default kernel. I uh, don't need any of that, uh, which is interesting, really interesting way of doing it. Uh, if we were to do light upgrade, we're running the latest version, user manager that you can do up, up the box. Really, I like this. I quite like this tool, I must admit. Um, but it looks like this tool is a tool that was modified specifically for Linux Lite, the desktop. Um, so this PC enable, disable, use the files enable. All right. Uh, again, my tempo doesn't work. Default applications, okay, that's default XFCE. I'm going on there. Uh, and then again, the light software, I take it is, yeah, this thing that we did earlier, okay. We can close that. So, really, you know, interesting. Uh, okay, that's weird, I just did a random sound. You know, who is this for? Uh, you know, if you want to use uh, something that's Ubuntu based and uh, additional features on the configuration side using a really customized XFCE desktop, you know, this is something that you could, could use. And it's something, you know, that um, seems to be pretty stable. Uh, and I do like a couple of the nice it is more is really the extra configuration options out of the box now the stuff as applications you can add you can remove it uh, you know like like any distribution and that has some looks like some pretty same defaults clean interface 
and you know if you've used it let me know put your feedback in the comments below folks and thank you for watching bye for now Thank you.